hey hi all in this video we will be discussing about collections in salesforce and what are the different types of collection in salesforce so starting with what is collections in salesforce collection is nothing but group of records that are of a similar data type or similar type collections have the ability to dynamically rise and shrink depending on the business needs Collections in Apex can be list, set, or map. There is no limit to the number of records that can be stored in a collection. Collection, you can think of like we have collection of cars or collection of toys. So that all toys will come under collection of toys. All the toys will not come under collection of cars. So that means we can have a collection of records of the same type if it is a toy then it is a collection of toy if it is a car then it's a collection of cars you can think of like it is an in salesforce it is an account and contact if you have collection of account then it will consist all the accounts if you have collection of contact it will only consist all the contacts or which you want to filter out but it will have only contacts it will not have account and contacts in that particular collection yeah, moving ahead. So these are the different types of collection we have. First is list collection, then set collection, and then map collection. So first we will see what is list collection. List collection is a, a list is an, an a list is an ordered collection of any data type, such as primitive types, as objects, user defined types, and built in Apex types. The syntax for this is as follows then moving ahead we have set collection set is an unordered collection if you want no duplicates in your collection then you should opt for this collection majorly we use set for set collection while we are dealing with ids or where you where we want to filter out particular records at that time we use set collection to get unique ids or unique values and then on that basis we can filter it out and the syntax is as follows then we have map collection map is a key value pair that contains each values unique key it is used when something needs to be located quickly so it is a pair of key and value and every key will be unique as its name suggests the key should be unique then only you can access the value of that particular data which is there in that particular value field. yeah now we can uh, now we will see how we can use different types of collections while writing apex classes so collection collection is the class name uh, list test is the method name and in that method we have all three types of collections that is list collection set collection and map collection so list uh, first we will talk about list collection so in this example we have created list of strings and we have named the variable as list collection and then we have given that particular list collection values a b a d and then we are using system.debug to know what value is present in that particular list collection as we all as we all know list collection is an ordered list so we have we uh, we maintain the order like what all strings are there it will be stored in in an ordered manner so we can access it by using the keys like zero on zeroth location what is the value on first location what is the value or on nth location what is the value in that particular list so in this example, as you can see on line number six, we have system dot system dot debug. Uh, what what will be the value on zeroth location? So on zeroth location, it is a, as uh, we have it that in array in the same manner. Then we have set collection. In as you know, set collection is an on un unordered list, so we cannot access the zeroth location of that particular set collection so we will 
we have we have initialized the set collection with a b a d value and in the debug we will get only a b d as we all know set is an unordered collection with only unique values the duplicate values will be automatically removed then we have map collection we have created map of string and string and in that particular map uh, we have in map collection we have a is equal to app that we have given default so in that uh, debug we will get what is there in map collection so how we can run that just we have to execute it and then we have the debug logs as you can see in the list collection we have a b a d and uh, on the zeroth location we have a and in set collection we have a b d not a b a d because in set collection only shows the unique values they don't show the duplicate values the reason the a is omitted and then on map we have a equal to app a is the key app is the value so, yeah thank you